The Fortnite Star Wars update is finally here and we have so much to talk about. I've got the trailer playing in the background. The leaks about Luke, Han, and Leia were correct and we have so many cosmetics to go over and obviously there's more to the update than just Star Wars but let's get everything Star Wars out of the way right now. We have the Luke Skywalker skin with a Tatooine Episode 4 style, an Episode 6 Jedi style, and a cloaked hooded version of the Jedi style as well. For Princess Leia, we have her Episode 4 Princess style, the Episode 6 Bounty Hunter Disguise style, which is kind of like an obscure thing for Leia in Star Wars. Like, gonna be honest, a lot of Star Wars collabs in Fortnite are a little underwhelming. Like, we don't have a classic Boba Fett, we don't have a classic Obi-Wan, and obviously we don't even have a lightsaber pickaxe, but they kind of went really hard with this Star Wars collab. We have a bounty hunter disguise style for Leia with the helmet on and off. And then for Han Solo, his classic episode four smuggler style, and you can put on a jacket as well. Luke has his own bundle with all of his cosmetics and Han and Leia also have their own separate bundle. Lightsabers are back on the map. Luke's A New Hope and Return of the Jedi lightsabers are floor loot. Those are going to be the blue and green ones. And Darth Vader also returns to the island and you can get the red lightsaber from him. Mace Windu's lightsaber was shown in the trailer but not mentioned in the post, so I don't know what's going on with that. There are also going to be Imperial Chest. Again, as I said, lightsabers drop from floor loot. You can probably get them from regular chests as well, but they probably have a higher chance to drop from these Imperial chests. And the Drunk Rift is back, but changed to have a chance of dropping Luke's Land Speeder, which is also a glider. We're going to talk about that. So we have a bunch of pickaxes. They're kind of boring. No lightsaber pickaxe. We have Luke's Land Speeder glider from Episode 4. We have a Millennium Falcon back bling. And one of the best back blings yet, an R2-D2 back bling. And for the emote, we have a speeder bike traversal emote. All Star Wars skins are set to return as well. Uh, here are all of the shop tabs that were just put back into the game, so we can expect to see these very soon. Six Star Wars tabs were added, so this whole entire new original trilogy set is probably only going to be two tabs. Like, you have Luke's stuff, you have Han and Leia's stuff, and then that's it. And the four other tabs are going to be for a bunch of older Star Wars skins. The Boba Fett tabs have been re-added, so that's Boba Fett, Fennec Shand, and Kersantan. And the Obi-Wan tab has been re-added. And of course, you can see here everything else that's set to return. Uh, Naruto skins are coming back as well if you guys are looking forward to that. But that's everything Star Wars. Not sure if the old skins are available right now, but obviously they are set to return as I just said. But the new stuff is available right now. Well, obviously as I'm recording this, the server's down. But as you're watching this, the servers are probably up. You can log in and buy the stuff right now. Let's talk about all the other leaked skins. I have the bundles on the screen and uh, we're gonna talk about the individual skins as well. We have a brand new FNCS set. And uh, we haven't gotten one of these in a while. We didn't get one last season. And uh, I guess we have two skins. It's time to make up for that. They look pretty cool. We have a brand new level up pack. I guess we're getting that every single season. We got them every season of chapter three. So they're continuing with that. And the Huntmaster Saber skin has been updated. And it is set to be an Xbox exclusive console bundle. So you're going to need to buy an Xbox console or find a code to get that skin. Kind of unfortunate. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Also, Harold has a new style. This is not the one that we saw in the survey, but just an entirely brand new style and kind of looks like the sideways. If you guys remember from chapter two, season eight, kind of has that same color scheme. Is it related? I don't know, but we'll probably find out more about this character in the end of season event. So this is so random. Pickle Rick has been added. I don't know what this is. Is it like a sticker? Is it like a back bling? Um, I don't think it's been added as a cosmetic, but this image has been found in the files, so yeah, maybe a back bling that's coming soon. Looks like we have a new item, not sure if it's in the game right now, but this was found in the files, the supply drop radio caller, so I guess you're going to find this item and be able to call down a supply drop. Now, it's not going to be the normal supply drop, it might be one of these two new ones added, a vehicle supply drop and a health supply drop. So we can assume that the vehicle one is going to drop vehicle related items, tires, cow catchers, repair torch, maybe gas cans, and then the health supply drop is gonna have a chance to drop any healing items. We have an update on the Chrome Punk skin. This was set to be a free skin. We already knew that from last update, uh, but it never ended up coming, but apparently the challenge is set to go live today, and it's gonna be available until January 1st. So the challenge to get this skin is to gain 50 levels, which is not an easy task, not something you're gonna be able to complete right away. Uh, but yeah, they're giving you lots of time to complete this challenge, but I just don't understand why they didn't release it in October. It's a Halloween skin, but I mean, whatever, right? It's a free skin. You can't complain. It's coming today. The Herald has a new emote that might leak some map changes or even a brand new map. 
Uh, I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. It's a very low quality image. We can actually make out some of the mini maps from this texture. So you can see chapter two, season three, flooded map, chapter two, season eight, corrupted map. We can see the standard chapter three map. Not sure if this is season one or two, but it's obviously before the reality biome was added. And uh, then I don't know what the other ones are. They're very low quality. Is it a chance that it's a chapter four map? I don't know. Is it a chance that it's a heavily changed version of the chapter three map? I don't know. Or is there a chance that it's just a random texture they threw together and made a low quality image for the emote? Maybe, I mean, but again, we'll wait and see next season. There is still a lot of speculation about chapter four. Recently, Tom Henderson did come out and say it's gonna be chapter three, season five, but again, we'll have to wait and see. No significant map changes this update, but the Chrome is continuing to spread. I have the mini map on the screen. You can see the Chrome is starting to spread even closer to greasy and tilted, and I guess around tilted, maybe even Loot Lake as well. And we know that the zero point is underwater, so what happens when the Chrome goes near there? I don't know, that could be something to do with the live event, the Chrome spreading to the zero point and possibly the zero point being taken over by Chrome, the Herald, the last reality, Cube Queen, anything can really happen this end of season live event. And next update, which is confirmed to release on November 15th, we might be getting some live event leaks. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel. I'll of course be covering all that. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.